Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here, and we are playing Orlog, which Orlog. is a dice game, a one of the mini games you can play in your settlement. It's and this video, I'm going to go over the basic rules, Let's begin. give a few tips, and then play an example game. And if you're wondering how long the games take, it really depends, because you just keep playing rounds until someone wins. And each round is composed of three phases. Number one is the roll phase, where players roll their dice. Di the die faces have various effects like attack, defense, or gain god tokens. Then the second phase is the god favor phase, where you can use your god tokens to make an offering, which is basically use special abilities. And then the final phase is where the computer resolves who wins. So let's see how it works. So you can roll, you get six, six dice and you roll them and you can pick which ones you want to keep and which ones you want to re-roll. So on the six faces of the die, there's two that deal damage, one that deals axe damage and one that deals arrow damage. There's two that block, one blocks the axe and one blocks the arrow. And the last two deal with the god tokens. The claw will steal a god token from the opponent and give it to you. And there's always one face on the die that'll have a red border. There'll be some symbol inside it, but as long as it has that red border, when you play it, you will gain one god token in addition to whatever effect that face has. And the god tokens are then used to invoke god favors. Oh, and the god tokens are those gold squares that'll be stacked to the upper right of your bowl when you get them. So my opponent went first and has already played four of his six dice. And you can see he played four that have that red border around the face. And so that is generally the strategy that I'm using as well. If I get a dice with the red border, but I didn't get any in this hand, in this roll, I didn't get any. But if I do get the face with the red border, it's generally a good idea to play it because you get double impact or double effect because you get the effect of whatever symbol is on the face plus the red border means you're going to get a god token that you can then use to purchase god favors, which are special abilities for example, one of the god favors is Thor Strike, which will deal two damage to your opponent, and it costs you four god tokens. But if you wait and save up eight god tokens, then Thor Strike is going to do five damage. So that's a choice you'll need to make in the strategy if you're going to spend the god tokens to do Thor Strike immediately when you collect four, or if you're going to wait to collect eight more, so you're going to get more bang for your buck when you deal damage. And how you play the god tokens is you hover over that little medallion on the table to the right of my bowl. That Thor medallion to the right of my bowl will allow me to spend my god tokens. Right now I only have two, but as you can see, I played two dice that have the red border. So I'm going to get two more from that and also an additional one more from my hand. So I have two god tokens currently, but I'm going to acquire three more when this hand resolves. And so I will be able to purchase a god favor. Oh, and I got another red border. So I'm going to get another god token. So I'm going to cast Thor's Strike. It's going to cost me four tokens and deal two damage to my opponent. And as you can see, my opponent and I are pretty evenly matched right now. This is a pretty even game. He has one more health than me, but then I just cast Thor Strike and destroy two of his rocks to retake the lead. 
Let's see if I can keep my advantage for the rest of the game. I will let you watch. Enjoy. This will do. Cornered you now. Ah, oh, not like this. Interesting. Sweet victory. The gods favored your hand today. Shall we go again? 
Another time, perhaps.